Hey people, John here from Fast Films, and today we're going to go through a 2013 drama thriller movie called Stoker. The opening scene shows a teenage girl, India Stoker, standing by the roadside and narrating how she has an acute sense of feeling what others cannot. She explains that she is wearing her father's belt around her mother's blouse with the shoes her uncle gave her. She says she is not responsible for what she has become. A flashback then shows India playing around in her garden while her birthday cake is being set on the table. Her mother's voice, Evelyn, can be heard from the background shouting her father's name, Richard. Up next, India and her family are seen at Richard's funeral. Shortly afterward, Evelyn tells India to help their housekeeper, Miss Garrick, in the kitchen. When India gets to the kitchen, she hears other maids talking about the mysterious death of her father. Miss McGarrick comes over to India and makes comments about her shoes. India then realizes that all the shoes she has been getting on her birthday haven't been coming from her father. Moments later, India goes to the living room where she meets her uncle, Charlie. Evelyn tells India to greet Charlie, but she refuses. Apparently, India has seen Charlie standing in the distance at Richard's funeral. She leaves the living room. Miss McGarrick notices this and asks her if anything is wrong, and India says yes. As India walks through the house, she hears people talking about how Charlie has traveled the world. Charlie soon locks eyes with India. He starts following her, only to be interrupted by Evelyn. India leaves the house and enters again through the back door. While sitting on the stairs, Charlie comes over to her and the duo start having a conversation. India implies that she didn't know about Charlie's existence until that day, and she points out the resemblance between Charlie and Richard. Charlie then informs India that he'll be staying with her and Evelyn in the meantime. The following morning, India sees Charlie through her bedroom window, digging in the garden. Soon afterward, she witnesses Charlie and Miss McGarrick having an argument. Miss McGarrick explains to Charlie that she has been his eyes and ears since he was a boy. She also adds that she has always done everything that he wanted. Soon afterward, Evelyn can be seen calling out to Miss McGarrick, but India tells her that she is nowhere to be found. Evelyn tells India that she would like to go out with her, but India doesn't give her the attention she wants. Moments later, Charlie and Evelyn go out together in Charlie's car. When Charlie is gone, India goes to his room and starts going through his belongings. She finds a box of presents that is usually sent to her on her birthdays. As she continues searching, Evelyn and Charlie return home. Evelyn says India should have come with them because she and Charlie had fun together. India goes to the basement, puts the ice cream in the freezer, and runs out immediately. Charlie asks her if the basement is too cold, but she says no. Shortly afterward, Charlie makes dinner for the family and Evelyn enjoys the meal. India also enjoys it because she finished everything. Evelyn asks if India would like to play the piano for them, but she refuses. India then asks why Evelyn didn't tell her that she had an uncle. Evelyn defends herself by saying she didn't know much about Charlie either. Seconds later, Evelyn excuses herself from the table, leaving Charlie in India. India discovers that the wine they are drinking was made in 1994. That's the same year that she was born. She asks what Charlie wants from her, and he says he wants to be her friend. India then replies that they are not friends, but family. The following day at school, a boy, Pitts, is seen making fun of India during their art class. After school, India gets outside to find Charlie waiting for her with his car. India ignores him and takes the school bus instead. India gets home to find her mother drunk. The next day, India is about to leave for school when Charlie gives her an umbrella because the weather forecast is going to rain. India refuses the umbrella and ends up getting wet from the rain on her way back from school. Upon getting home, India sees Evelyn teaching Charlie how to play the piano. Later on, Charlie and Evelyn go to the yard to play tennis and invite India, but she refuses. Charlie points out that he has taken one of Richard's belts because his trousers are too big. Up next, India's great aunt, Gwendolyn Stoker, pays the family a visit. At the meal table, Gwendolyn is surprised that she hears that Charlie just came back from Europe. She then tells Evelyn that she needs to talk to her, but Evelyn refuses her. Evelyn berates her, and Gwendolyn soon starts to leave. Before leaving, she gives India a piece of paper and tells her to call her. Charlie tells the taxi driver to take Gwendolyn to the Biltmore Hotel, but she tells the driver to take her to another hotel due to the unexplained fear of Charlie. Upon getting to the hotel, she realizes that her phone is missing. She then tries to call the Stoker's home from a phone booth, but Charlie soon arrives and strangles her with his belt. Meanwhile, India goes to the basement and discovers McGarrick's body in the freezer. She then realizes that Charlie is a bad person. The following day, India sees Charlie waiting for her outside the school entrance and she decides to take the back entrance. As she walks, she runs into Pitts and his crook friends. The group makes fun of India. India ends up puncturing Pitts' hand with a pencil when he tries to hit her. During the ruckus, another student, Whip, 
intervenes and tells Pitts and his boys to let India go. Meanwhile, Charlie is standing in the distance looking at everything happening. Up next, India sits down to play the piano, when Charlie joins her and the duo plays together passionately. As they play, India gets moved romantically. As she stops playing, she looks beside her and discovers that Charlie is gone. The next scene shows India waking up to the sound of music. She walks downstairs and sees Evelyn and Charlie having a dance to the music. The duo end up kissing each other and touching each other passionately. India gets upset by this and runs away from home. India runs into Whip at a dinner and she tells him to accompany her to the park. The duo have fun together in the park and they soon walk into the woods. They start to make out and India accidentally bites Whip's lip. Whip expresses the fact that India is so wild and tries to continue their fun, but India doesn't want any of it again. He then tries to force himself on India, and just then, Charlie appears and intervenes. He uses his belt to tie up Whip and tells India to hit him. As she does so, Whip grabs India and lays on her, but Charlie breaks his neck with the belt. India then helps Charlie in burying the body in her garden. She attempts to call Gwendolyn, but hears her phone ring in the garden, realizing Charlie terminated her too. While taking a shower, India plays with herself as she remembers every detail that led to Whip's death. The next scene shows India visiting her mother's room. She brushes her mother's hair, and her mother realizes that she is wearing the nightgown she bought for her. As she brushes Evelyn's hair, India informs Evelyn that she is aware of what she and Charlie did in the dining room. India then starts to make references to everything her father taught her about hunting an animal. Evelyn immediately stops her from brushing her hair and informs India that she is going to burn everything in Richard's study the following day. The following day, India visits her father's study to take things of his that she wants to keep. She realizes that a key she once received on one of her birthdays opens a locked drawer in Richard's study. Inside the drawer, she finds several letters written to her from Charlie, but her father never gave them to her. She reads as Charlie explains his love for her even though they have never met. India also sees that Richard and Charlie once had a little brother named Jonathan. India leaves a study and confronts Charlie about the whereabouts of Jonathan. Charlie then reveals to her everything that happened. A flashback shows Charlie burying Jonathan alive in a sandbox when they were young because Richard gave more attention to Jonathan than him. Charlie was then taken to a mental institution because of the events. Another flashback shows Charlie being released on India's 18th birthday and Richard goes to pick him up. Inside the car, Richard gives Charlie a car, money, and apartment in New York City on the condition that he stays away from his family. Charlie protests that he would like to meet India, but Richard refuses. Charlie then gets out of the car to throw up and he picks up a rock. He gets back inside and hits Richard to death with it. He then stages Richard's death as a car accident. Upon hearing Charlie's story, India hits him in the face for terminating her father. She asks why Charlie chose to come back now. Charlie says he's come for her and gives her a birthday present, which contains a pair of heels. Just then, the sheriff knocks at the door. He asks India about the whereabouts of Whip, and Charlie helps her to provide an alibi for the night of Whip's death. Upon the sheriff's departure, Charlie tells India that he will be back and they need to go. He suggests that they go to New York City together. Charlie touches her on the face and Evelyn catches them. Later on, Evelyn expresses her desire to watch India suffer. Afterwards, Evelyn asks Charlie to follow her to the bedroom. She then confronts him that she knows the truth about Richard's death. Charlie tries to make out with Evelyn and he starts to strangle her with his belt. Just then, India shoots him with her rifle. She buries Charlie's body in the garden, then leaves for New York in Charlie's car. Up next, India is pulled over for speeding by the sheriff. He asks her why she's in a hurry. She replies that she wanted to catch his attention, then punctures him in the neck with a pair of shears. As the sheriff struggles and walks into a field, India goes after him and shoots him. The imagery ties to the opening scene of the movie where India is standing by the roadside. Thanks for watching, guys.